Shalom. I will first start by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakadash. Okay, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father whom the world calls God, Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the only begotten beloved Son of the Heavenly Father whom the world calls Jesus. His true name is Yahweh Shai. Alright, and these are the names you have to call upon in order to be saved and delivered. Okay, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who well and was taught us this truth. Shalom wa barakim la bakarim, which means peace and blessings unto the elect. All right, because the elect of the nation of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are going to be saved and delivered in this upcoming destruction in the midst of World War III. All right. Um, but I was meditating on the fact that the Lord is going to deliver us um, from this flesh, this sinful flesh. Uh, so I'm going to get a few, a few scriptures to edify that point. I'm going to start off with Jude. This is Jude, the first chapter, is only one chapter, in verse 6. It reads, it says that, And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. Okay, and the angels that it's talking about, it's talking about uh, the Allahayim, alright, or the elect. Okay, because um, really... Before we came on the earth, we were we were angels because we were in the spirit world. All right. But what we left that habitation and we came onto the earth. And what did we come in the earth in these these bodies, man? All right. It says he have reserved an everlasting chains under darkness until the judgment of the great day. All right. And these bodies represents chains of darkness. All right. Because these bodies were subject to sin. All right, these bodies were made to go off. All right, it says unto the judgment of the great day, because when Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, when Yahweh Shah returns to bring forth judgment, all right, during that great day, that's when the Lord is going to actually change us out of these vile bodies, okay? And we're going, we're going to have angelic-like bodies, but they're going to be extraterrestrial because we're going to be able to dwell on the earth because the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth, all right? Now, let me get this Romans real quick, because I said uh, this is Romans chapter eight and verse 20. It says, for the creature was made subject to vanity. All right. And we're the creature because we were created. We're made subject to vanity or we were made subject to going off. man. All right. Because we're in these these chains of darkness. We're in these fleshly bodies. It says not willingly by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. All right. It wasn't our will to to be going off and to. All right, but it was the will of the Lord, all right, to put this, put us in this predicament, all right, so we could be humble and we could hope for change, all right, and change is gonna come, man. All right, call all y'all by shy, all right, because he's gonna change us, okay, and we're gonna be like him. All right, if the Spirit allows, I'll get that that scripture. All right, but this is Romans chapter seven, and um, I'll start at verse twenty one. It says, "I find then a law that when I would do good." evil is present with me all right because the scriptures say the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak all right here it is we want to do the right things we want to we're, we're, we're men of the lord all right we believe in the truth and we want to please the lord at all times man but we simply can't because we're in this flesh man all right so it says even though we want to do good evil is present with me it says for i delight in the law of the most high after the inward man but i see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind all right, because there's two minds. We got the, the, the fleshly heart, all right? We got the, the carnal mind, and we got the spiritual mind, okay? And they they war against one another, man. All right, here it is. We want to do good, but then you got that, that carnal mind, all right, trying to oppose you, okay? It says, warn against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? All right, and call all y'all by Shemiah Shai because the Lord is going to deliver us from this body of death. All right, and this body is of death because if you go off, it's going to lead to death, man. Sin equals death. All right, and this body was subject to sin. All right, it says, I thank the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. So then with my, the mind, I, my, I myself serve the law of the Most High, but with the flesh, the law of sin. All right, but the Lord, he's going to deliver us from this, from this actual sinful flesh, man. All right, so that's a beautiful thing. Let me get this in uh, Hebrews. This is Hebrews chapter 8. And uh, 
I'm going to read on down. All right, because that's essentially the new covenant, man. That's what the New Testament is all about, man. All right, no longer are we going to have to uh, read the law for the stone and try to remember it and, and practice it. The Lord's going to put it within us. All right, this is a Roman, this is Hebrews chapter 8 and verse, uh, we'll start at verse 6. It's Hebrews 8 and verse 6. It says, But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry. But how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. Okay, because this new covenant that we're coming into, this new promise, all right, is better than the old. All right. It says, for if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. It says for finding fault with them. Okay, because it wasn't that the law was 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 wrong. Okay, the problem with the first covenant was with them. Who's the them? It's us. All right, the Israelites, the people of the Lord, the people whom the Lord gave the law. Okay, we went off. All right, but the law is perfect. All right, so it says, for finding fault with them, he said, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. The house of Israel represents the northern kingdom, which are the so-called Latinos and Native Americans. All right, the house of Judah represents the southern kingdom, which are the so-called African Americans uh, West Indians and Haitians Alright It says not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers In the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt Because they continued not in my covenant And I regarded them not save the Lord Alright we went off we turned our back on the Lord The Lord turned it back on us Alright so that's why we're in we're in hell right now We're in we're in captivity right now That's why we're catching all this this hell Alright because the Lord turned it back Turned his back on us Alright because we didn't uh, continue with our agreement Okay, but it was set up like that through the spirit, all right, for us to have a better um, agreement, okay, which is this new covenant, man. Verse 10, it says, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I'll put my laws into their, into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I'll be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. So that's what the Lord's going to do. All right, he's going to take away these stony, stubborn, rockhead hearts or minds. All right, he's going to give us a fleshly heart, or a heart that can't sin, that can't go off, or that f fulfills the law perfectly. And that's going to occur when the Lord changes us and gives us these new bodies, man. It says, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, know the Lord. All right, because right now we go out here and we teach. I'm doing a video right now because there's Jake out here that don't know the Lord, man. All right, in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to be teaching our people of the Lord, man. It says, for all shall know, the, know me. From the least to the greatest, so the, the least Israelite to the greatest, all is going to know the Lord perfectly, man. All right, and that's the that's the promise that we that we have. Okay, that's the promise that we can hope in, man. All right, so let's go ahead and get uh, let's get uh, let me get this Philippians. This is uh Philippians chapter three, and verse twenty. It says, "For our conversation is in heaven." Okay. And we go into this word conversation is talking about uh, citizenship. OK, and uh, w w citizenship and city are synonymous. All right. So our conversation or our city, the, the, the place where we belong is in heaven. All right. And, he and that's talking about the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on earth. man. It says, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Our Savior, our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, is going to be the one that establishes the kingdom on earth, this kingdom of righteousness on earth, man. All right. But here's the point, because the scriptures say flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom, man. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. So in order, for, in order for us to receive the kingdom of heaven, all right, we have to be changed. Okay. And that's what we're looking for. That's, that's our hope. All right. It says, who shall change our vile body? Okay, that it that it may be fashioned like unto His glorious body. See, our body is gonna be like our Lord Yahweh Shai. See, Yahweh Shai came on the earth two thousand years ago, and He didn't sin. All right, He condemned sin in the flesh. Okay, and He and He sacrificed His life. All right, so through His sacrifice, we're able to be redeemed back to the Lord, and we're gonna be able to receive the same body that our Lord is in. All right, just as our Lord didn't go off, we will never go off. Right? It says according to the work. According to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. All right. So let me get this first, John. And then uh, I'll close it on this. All right. Lord's will, this is edifying. This is First John chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, 
that we should be called the sons of the Most High. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. All right. So we're actually with the Israelites. That's what Israel means. Yashar Allah. He is a prince of God. All right. And what matter of love is that, man? That we're the people of the Lord, man. All right. Verse two, it says, beloved. Now are we the sons of the most high and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. Meaning we're still in these ordinary bodies, man. Okay. And it doesn't appear what we shall be. It says, but we know that when he shall appear, who's that he? That's how we're shy, man. All right. It says, when he shall appear, we shall be like him. We shall see him as he is. So we're going to change just like our Lord has changed. Okay. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai is in the heavens right now and his glorified body. All right. And we're going to be, we're going to be changed into those glorious bodies as well when he returns. Okay. But it doesn't appear that it's going to be that way, but that's the mystery. All right. And verse three says, and every man that have this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure and this is what keeps us pure man so it keeps us holy clean and separate hoping in this promise man all right that the lord is going to deliver us from these bodies and he's going to give us a new one all right that can never go off all right and there when we're in a body that never goes off the, the lord is always going to be with us he's always going to be present with us all right so lord's will this is edifying call hello yahweh bashim yahushai bashim kakadash that we honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone to rule well. Shalom, wa barakim, la peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.